Stefan from EasyDMark. So today we will go over the configuration for Zendesk by configuring both SPF and DKIM protocols. So yeah, make sure to log in into your Zendesk account and then click on settings and go to admin center. So this is the admin center. Make sure to click on channels and then click on email. Perfect. So yeah, that's totally normal to be there actually. Okay. So the process is that we will need to add our business email address, right? So upon that, we can start with the configuration. So once we try to add the email address, so we will receive this three steps. First of all, we need to verify the forwarding and then the SPF, which we will need to add the Zendesk include into our SPF record. And then we do have actually uh, the verification that we will need also to add into the DNS. So yeah, let's get started. So once you try to click on verify forwarding, so you will receive an email, right? In my case, as I'm using Zoho, so I just received that here. So I need to add this address into the forwarding process. Okay, this is it, it's already added, right? So once I try to click on verify, so I will receive actually an email into my Zendesk. Let me show you actually. This could take a couple of minutes, but yeah, we will receive it. I just received the email forwarding confirmation code. So let me show it to you. This is it. This is the code that I need to add and confirm that into my Zoho mail. Click on confirm. That's it. Now we can verify this actually from here. So verify forwarding. Yeah, actually this could take some time, but no worries, it will be verified. So yeah, let's go and start with the SPF part. So regarding the SPF, we need to add the include into the DNS zone. So let me show it to you. So in my case, as I'm using Cloudflare, so I need to find my SPF record, which is this one, right? Click on edit, make sure to not create additional SPF record. In that case, it will be duplicated. So make sure to modify the current one. So let's make sure to add the include and click on save. Perfect. And apart from that, let's make sure also to add the verification. This will be with a TXT record type click on add txt the name part will be this one and two will be this one click on save perfect now we can verify this one Perfect, what about the SPF? Perfect, now we do have everything verified, all right? So this is regarding the SPF actually. So let's go over the DKIM. This is super straightforward. So this is the DKIM uh, C names record that we will need to add again into the DNS zone, right? But make sure to copy teal domain key, right? So yeah. Let me show you the process for this one as well. We will, first of all, we will need to add the first one, which will point to this target. And the same thing with the second one. Let's go back to the DNS zone. Click on add record. Type C name. Zendesk one. Okay, let's copy this one as well. So this is the target and make sure to close the proxy. All right, that's it. So yeah, click on save. Let's add another C name as that one will be the second one. All right, 
which will target to this address. Let's close the proxy once again and click on save. That's it. We are almost done with everything. So yeah, let's go back here, click on enable and save it, right? That's the process actually, that's it. That's done with the configuration for both SPF and DKIM. The last thing that we will need actually to change it, just to make uh, the default one, this one, instead of the Zendesk email address. So yeah, you can click on make default and that's it so yeah upon that so once everything is done once everything is set up so you can try to send out a test email into our email investigation tool and it will look like in this shape as you can see that the return path we do have cocosoft.club right that's the SPF actually, which will check the SPF actually for if it is matching the domain with the from address and the same thing with Dakim. So both of them actually are being aligned and they're passing, right? Passing both authentication and the alignment. So DMARC generally will pass. Um, yeah, that's it. So stay safe. Have a good one.